Hey guys, Shan here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about custom white balance. As you may be able to tell, skin tones are looking a little off here today. Uh, it's mainly because I'm sitting in here with three different types of light. Uh, above I have a nice, probably 1970s fluorescent light bulb uh, with uh, who knows how yellow um, diffuser on it. My camera there, I've got a uh, at white balance, you know, at daylight balanced video light, uh, so I'm probably looking a little blue, a little cold today. And over on my right here, I have a nice yellow tungsten light. So I have three totally different colors of light in here, and which is just a nightmare for getting anything that's, you know, getting anything that resembles decent color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my my camera, and I'm going to bring it with me here. I have set up a little scene. Now this scene has got some pretty vibrant colors, the yellow banana, got the red apple, got some yellows and blues in the labels there, and a little golden uh, in the in the bottles of the uh, you know, Steph's uh, coffee shots there. So the first thing I'm going to do, I got my camera set up here on a tripod. And I'm going to set my white balance to auto to show you exactly what the camera thinks is going to be a good exposure or good white balance. Okay, doesn't do bad. Uh, if you took a look at the histogram here, um, does a pretty decent job. Uh, it's on a white background. Now I'm going to try to figure this out. Maybe go with fluorescent since that's the main lighting here. Take another shot. Still not too bad, maybe a little bit warmer. But to set up a white balance, <clears throat> all you need is anything that's pure white. Um, here I'm going to use just a paper towel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that right over my subject. So it's receiving the exact same amount of light. I'm going to take a picture of that. Okay, and now I'm going to go into menu, go over to my uh, white balance uh, settings here, which is the second menu from the left on the 40D. I'm going to look for custom white balance, custom WB. I hit that button, it's going to show me some different images. Uh, for the last one that I shot popped up, I'm just going to hit the set button. It asks if I want to use the white balance data from this image. I hit OK. Now since I wasn't on custom white balance before, it's going to ask me to set it to custom white balance uh, preset. And now, there's my final shot. As you can see, the actual image is slightly warmer. Uh, you know, my this uh, counter here is not actually white, it's kind of a, a gold off-white. So that gives me a much truer rendition of my colors. So anyway, that's the easy way to set a custom white balance. Hope that helps. Uh, get out there and try it, especially in tricky light situations where it's not going to change. Uh, you'll be amazed at how vibrant your colors really look. See you next time.